guys today and this video is a little bit different. We got a Noble M400, changing the battery in it. I've never seen one myself. I figured I'd share it with you guys. So this car actually has a twin turbo V6 in it with 425 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. So we got it jacked up. And it's really hard to kind of get to this battery. If you look down here, Take this little side panel off. Put this little clip right here, this little panel comes off and we should be able to get access to this battery down in here. So right here's the battery we're gonna be putting in it. And it was really hard since Noble, they don't really tell you at the parts store what battery, we just matched one up. So let me see if I can get my little light right here. So to get to the battery, it's down in here. And then it just drops through this hole right here. And believe it or not, underneath this, it's really different, it's all sealed. But there is a little cutout hole underneath to get it out. So, or you could look at it from this angle. The battery would be down in there. So, all you have to really do when pulling it apart, because there's this like little panel that comes off just like this. And once this panel is removed, it gives you access to the battery. Tying it back down. I need to put a zip tie on that first. Um, yeah, I should put. Yeah, that's all that was holding on. Right, so, all right. Well, we can see the zip tie. You want to just get me another zip tie real quick, actually? Yep. Oh, this one. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie, this battery is actually a bitch to put in. So, now that we got it in here and it's on this little tray, let me show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if you look under here, I mean, that's just how it was. It had a little access point, and it hangs out here on this little, this little tray here, and just sits in there crooked. So I guess it's for easy access. If you need to be at the track, you just pop it out and it just slides out. So, that's the way it came when we Took it apart. I don't know if this is the way it came from the factory, but the car only has 6,000 miles on it, so I would imagine so. So let's take another look here. So the negative terminal goes right back there in the in the back, as you can see, and then the positive right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Battery is officially in, and we're good to go. So now all we have to do is put this little liner back in that the battery is hidden behind. And then put the tire back on and we should be ready to rip. <laughs> 